Hi, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. For those who can afford to maintain the required hardware, and we're usually talking about servers, simulation will be an on-site operation, of course. But for those who don't perform simulation on a regular basis, and therefore cannot justify investing in dedicated hardware, simulation could become a pay-as-you-go operation based on the familiar software-as-a-service or SAAS model. So, anticipating that type of usage, Autodesk this week released a bunch of simulation applications. There are client apps you can install to run mechanical and fluid flow or CFD simulations, among other things. What distinguishes these apps is that they solve your design studies and scenarios in the cloud so your local CPUs don't get tied up during those processes and the results come back usually much faster than you would have gotten them in a standard desktop PC. The new offerings are part of Autodesk's continuing strategy to offer cloud-hosted services all under the umbrella Autodesk 360. In this case, Autodesk Simulation 360. What you're looking at here is Simulation 360 CFD Edition. Once installed, the client app populates your CAD program with a launch button for the design studies. I'm studying a design study from the simulation client itself. My CAD geometry is a simple part with an inlet for fluid to flow in from and several outlets. Seems like an ideal setup for a very simple CFD exercise. Traditionally, you define the overall volume as air, so I just did that. Then you define the velocity with which the fluid will come in from the inlet. Next, you define the pressure at the outlet points. Now, with all these basic geometry and boundary conditions specified, you can simply go ahead and solve the study. Watch here where the process gets sent to the cloud for processing. Keep in mind we're running about 100 scenarios, so these results, as you can see, are coming in fast and furious. Definitely a lot faster than how you would have gotten them on a standard PC. In the most sophisticated and complex simulation studies, you'll have to specify, of course, a lot more material properties, more boundary conditions, so manually doing them one at a time would be quite daunting. In this case, you may apply a predefined set of materials, velocities, and boundary values as a template. Then just drag and drop your parts and geometries and surfaces onto the applicable parameters. Let's try studying a wind tunnel test here, which is actually simulating the airflow around the geometry of a car. I'm using an example of parasolid model that's supplied in the program, showing a car's volume already embedded in the wind's path. Now, as usual, I defined the wind tunnel box as air. Then I'm going to apply 80 miles per hour wind in one end, apply zero pressure in the other end, and I'm going to hit mash and solve the whole scenario. The cube in the corner of your navigation window and the click by rotation system makes it easy to select surfaces and objects to apply values to. And your ability to hide or reveal objects with a single click also helps you reach into multi-layered assemblies quite easily. Because the option to also show your results in mesh, wireframe, temperature, and shaded views and a whole range of options make presentation easier as well. 
but the best part of the program, I'd say, is the speed with which it solves nearly 100 iterations or more in a matter of minutes. In a remote server without burdening your local CPU, that's an important feature. Simulation 360 client app installation also comes with a viewer, so you can share your results in a lightweight viewing program. That way you wouldn't need to launch the CFD program every time you just want to take a look at the findings. Don't get me wrong, these are just simple CFD studies that I'm showing you here as examples. In standard CFD, or in complex CFD, you spend quite a bit of time specifying material properties, pressure, flow behavior, flow speed, and other values. So, for those starting out in CFD, the biggest challenge will be stating your simulation exercises in mathematical terms. You can ask the software, for example, how hot will my nozzle get if I pour a hot liquid at a certain temperature from one end? Or, will it melt if I make it with plastic? Using the software, I say, is the easy part, actually. But translating these simulation problems and your questions into numbers is something that comes with experience only. There is no shortcut. In my view, with the integration of CAD simulation and cloud-hosted offerings, Autodesk Simulation 360 opens the possibility that in the future you will be doing heavy-duty simulation without a heavy-duty machine. So, CFD from an iPad in the near future? Well, I wouldn't go that far yet. Autodesk Simulation client programs that are available today are, after all, hefty gigabyte size installations, not nimble, small mobile apps. But these certainly look like the foundation to one day bringing powerful simulation to smaller, lighter devices. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong, going with the flow in Autodesk Simulation 360.